Good evening. Thank you for joining us. This is Monday, Thursday, April 9th, 2020. Thank you for joining us for our Monday, Thursday service. Um, and we will start. If you've downloaded your bulletin from the, the email I sent you, please follow along. Blessed be our God. Forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Amen. Holy God, source of all love. On the night of his betrayal, Jesus gave us a new commandment to love one another as he loves us. Write this commandment in our hearts and give us the will to serve others as he was servant of all. Your son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 The first reading is from the book of Exodus. Can you turn it up a little bit, Marcia? Reading from Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall mark for you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year for you. Tell the whole congregation of Israel, that on the 10th of this month, they are to take a lamb for each family, a lamb for each household. If a household is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join its closest neighbor in obtaining one. The lamb shall be divided in proportion to the number of people who eat of it. This is how you shall eat it, your loins girded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it hurriedly. It is the Passover of the Lord, for I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, both human beings and animals. On, on all of the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. The blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you live. When I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall destroy you, and no plague shall destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. This day shall be a day of remembrance for you. You shall celebrate it as a festival to the Lord. Throughout your generation, you shall observe it as a perpetual ordinance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks to, God. be to God. Psalm 116. I am the Lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication. Because he has inclined his ear to me whenever I called upon him. How shall I repay the Lord? For all the good things he has done for me, I shall lift, the cup, lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his servants. O oh Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant and the child of your house, babe. You have freed me from my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I will, will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. In the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O oh Jerusalem, hallelujah. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also, after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, 
you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. A reading from the Gospel of John. Now, before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and to go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the, the Father had given him all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied, it, a, tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, you do not know now what I'm doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, one who has bathed does not need to wash, except for the feet, but is, in, is, ex, is entirely clean. And you are clean, though, though not all of you, for he knew he was to be betrayed. For this, this reason he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, had put on, he had put on his robe and had returned to the table, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly, I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be, oh, thanks to, be God. to God. Thank you. Uh, for those who may be watching who are not Episcopalian, this is Monday, Thursday, and for what it means to us, this Monday means mandatum or commandment. This is the day we remember and celebrate that Jesus gave us one new commandment, to love one another. And it's the night where we remember the Last Supper, the 
washing of the disciples' feet and the institution of the communion. Do this for the remembrance of me when you break bread, when you drink wine. So it's it's uh, the core of our worship is this Eucharistic celebration of the bread and the wine and the and the and the prayers, and this is the important day during Holy Week that we we remember those and we read those stories again. This is the night of the Last Supper. Jesus only had a little bit of time to finish teaching all the lessons that he needed to teach his disciples, and he taught them two powerful lessons and they're so easy there's no doctrine there's no dogma there's no um uh, question about uh who's right who's wrong he says he showed that we are to serve one another as he served his disciples we are to serve one another and we are to love one another and by this, everyone will know that we are his followers, that we are his disciples, if we have love for one another, serve one another, love one another. He's telling us, his, his people, that there, you're going to go out and be leaders in something brand new. And you're not going to be like leaders in the world. You're not going to lord it over people. You shall be servant leaders. And this is the way it is in the kingdom. Those who lead are the ones who serve, and love is the is the is the basic commandment. Love God, love one another, and so He is teaching them right at the end. These are the last things you need to do. And every time you break bread at the table, every time you offer the prayers, every time you have the wine, do this for his remembrance, so that every time we take communion, and I can't wait for the day when we get back and we can worship side by side and break bread together and, and drink wine, because that is our remembrance every week, that we are called to love and to serve. It's not hard. We are to love and to serve. And, and I know right now we don't feel like we can do much because we're all apart but you know we're all together in this love of god we're all together in this spirit of god so even though we're dispersed in our own households we are still together in this and we can serve one another and we can show love for one another so we just have to figure out a way that can we can do that who in our world right now needs the love the most who needs to be served and we know that there are ways we can stay home and 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 stay well when we do that then we're being loving to the hospital and medical uh, communities if we stay home and don't get sick it'll make it easier on the people in the hospitals um, many ways we can serve right now if we're financially strong we can think about helping somebody who's lost their job and if we can sew we can make masks for people and and a phone call or a card can make such a difference in someone's life and it may be challenging when we're apart and we're uncertain and we don't know when it's ever going to get back to normal it, but it may <coughs> Challenging, but we can always look around us in our own families, in our own homes, out our windows, in our front yard, and look where we see the presence of God. Those are God's sightings. So look for those examples as we walk into this pandemic every day. Um, pray for those who are walking in and serving as healthcare workers. Um, Everything that Jesus did, all his lessons to his disciples was about people and relationships and compassion and healing and caring and loving. So that's what we have to remember this Monday, Thursday, because the road is going to get rockier. Tomorrow is Good Friday. This is the day we remember the worst, the worst of the world, what they did to Jesus. So... Be good to one another, take care of one another. And I know I've been hearing, and you probably have too, that there are people that are saying this is the end time. 
or this disease is God's punishment for this or that, or Jesus is coming back to rapture me soon. I mean, I, you hear these things. Don't believe it. Just don't. God, Jesus showed us his ways, and he showed us the character of God, and his ways are service. The character of God is love. God does not punish us by giving us diseases. We only got one new commandment to remember, not a whole 600 and some, but one new commandment, that we're to love one another as he loved us. And remember that God is still God. God hasn't forgotten us. We will get through this um, time of pandemic. We will get through it together. And as I said on Sunday, I'll repeat, what a sweet reunion it will be when we can gather as the people of God in person and partake again of the Lord's communion. So until that time, please be thankful for what you have. Help those who are hurting, reach out to those you love, and keep your eyes open for God's sightings. We may not be in the church building together, but that's not the only place God is anyway. God is with us. The Holy Spirit connects us, and our Lord Jesus is always there for us. So do not lose heart. Do not lose hope. The light will indeed triumph over the darkness, and Easter will come. Amen. 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 Um, on page uh, three of your service sheet, your bulletin, is the Apostles' Creed. Please join me in saying the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven, of heaven and earth. And earth. I believe, I believe in, in Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, his only, only Son, our Lord. Lord. He was conceived, was conceived by, by the power the of the power Holy, of the Holy Spirit, Spirit and born, and born of, the of the Virgin Mary. Mary. He, suffered he suffered under Pontius, Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was crucified, was crucified died, died, and was buried. Was buried. He descended he to the dead. the dead. On the third, the third day, day, he rose again. again. He ascended, he ascended into, into heaven. heaven and is seated at the right hand, hand of the Father. Of the Father. He, will he will come again, come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Holy Catholic, Holy Catholic Church, 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 the communion, communion of, saints, of saints, the forgiveness, the forgiveness of, sins, of sins, the resurrection, the resurrection of, the body, of the body, and the life, the life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Amen. And let us pray uh, the contemporary Lord's Prayer. Our Father in Our heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom come, come. your will be, will done. be done on earth, on as, earth in heaven. as it is in heaven. Give us give today us our day daily bread. Day bread. Forgive, us, forgive our sins, us our sins as we, as we forgive, forgive those, those who sin against, sin against us. us. Save us Save from us the time, the time of, trial, of trial and deliver, deliver us from, us from evil. evil. For the kingdom, For the kingdom the the power, the power, power and the glory, the glory are, yours, are yours now, now, and, now forever. and forever. Amen. Amen. You, now united with Christians around the globe on this Monday, Thursday, let us pray for the church, the earth, our troubled world, and all in need, responding to each petition with the words, your mercy is great. Morrison. Blessed are you, holy God, for the church. Gather all the baptized around your presence in the world. Strengthen the body of your people, even when we cannot assemble for worship. Give our bishops and all our clergy fulfill, fulfillness and creativity for their ministry in this time and accompany those preparing for baptism. Hear us, holy God. Your mercy, Your mercy is, great. is great. great. Blessed are you, bountiful God, for this good earth and for the flowering of the springtime. Save dry lands from destructive droughts. Protect the waters from pollution. Allow in this time the planting of fields for food. Make us into caregivers of your plants and animals. Hear us, bountiful Lord. Your mercy, your mercy is, great. is great. 
Blessed are you, sovereign God, for our nation. Inspire all people to live in peace and concord. Grant wisdom and courage to heads of state and to legislators as they face the coronavirus. Lead our elected officials to champion the cause of the needy. Hear us, sovereign God. Your mercy, Your mercy is, is great. Blessed are you, faithful God, for you accompany suffering humanity with love. Abide wherever the coronavirus has struck Visit all who mourn their dead, all who have con contracted the virus, those who are quarantined or stranded away from home, those who have lost their employment, those who fear the present and the future. Support physicians, nurses, and health and home health aides, medical researchers, and the World Health Organization. Hear us, faithful God. Your mercy, Your mercy is, is great. great. Blessed are you, gracious God, for you care for the needy. We beg you to feed the hungry, protect the refugee, embrace the distressed, house the homeless, nurse the sick, and comfort the dying. Especially we pray for those we name before you now. For my son's safe return from Japan, for my family for this congregation that is uh, scattered but together today, that we may return to worship uh, soon. Pray for all the young people. We'll pray for Hear those who have died. Your mercy. Your, Your mercy is great. Right. Blessed are you, loving God, that your son knelt before us, your unworthy servants. Preserve our lives, comfort our anxiety, and receive now the petitions of our hearts. Lord, keep us strong in faith. Help us to reach out to those who are hurting this day. And we pray, Lord, that we could, those who've lost their jobs can get some relief from money, with money from the government, that they can get what do they need to eat and health care that they need. Hear us. Your mercy, mercy is, great. is great. Blessed are you, eternal God, for all who have died in the faith and those whom we name before you here. And Dave, for those who've died in this epidemic, Hear us, loving God. Your mercy, mercy is great. Is great. At the end, bring us with them into your everlasting glory. Hear us, eternal God. Your mercy, mercy is, great. is great. Receive, merciful God, our prayers for the sake of Jesus Christ, the host of our meal of life who died and rose that we might live with you now and forever. Amen. 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 Now may the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. And now let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And thanks, thanks, thanks to God. To God. And thank you for joining us for a Monday Thursday celebration. Hopefully that you can make your Thursday night meal something special and say the prayers for Monday Thursday. And as always, um, don't lose hope. Keep the faith. Take care of yourself. Stay inside and wash your hands. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>